Hey y'all, Sherry G. I just saw a clip where Martel says, um, put some respect on his name. Don't worry, I'm gonna play the clip for you in just a bit. But first of all, let me welcome everyone to the channel, to all of those of you who have been here with me for the last few months since I started my channel. Just know that I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. And for those of you who have recently subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. I'm excited to say that I've reached 3K. I took a little break for a little while because I had to work on some other project, but eh, I still take breaks every now and then because this YouTube, social media, it can be a lot. And honestly, I have other life going on too. So, um, but I appreciate you being here. I am really thankful for the 3K. I never thought I'd be here now. Um, not pacing my journey by any means based on what anybody else is doing. I just never thought I'd be here right now because I only started this as something fun to do and didn't even know if I was going to stick with it. But I actually like it and I'm looking for uh, ways to, to expand my channel and take it beyond just talking about reality TV and specifically Love and Marriage Huntsville. Um, so anyway, our girlfriend and mine are working on some ideas and things like that. So eh, as things unfold, I will keep you in the know. But I just want to take some time out to say thank you before I show you this little video clip of Martel <laughs> demanding that certain people put respect on his name, in other words. Anyway, before I do show you the little video clip, let me go ahead and run my disclaimer let me remind you that when I come back with my commentary, everything that I say is just, it's just my opinion, just my way of seeing things. It's my views, my way of looking at things. So um, everything in my commentary is alleged. And anyone who chooses to comment down below in the comment section, the same applies to them as well. So let me run my disclaimer. I'll go ahead and run the little video clip and I'll be back with my commentary. Hang tight. Use you and not respect the fact that they did use you. Even with Scope, I mean, you know, he made that come in of, guess who owns Scope now? Slab. When we started Scope, I said, we're going to bring you in. We're going to do the same thing that Holden Holt does, and then you just going to buy me out. And that's what happened. It wouldn't be no Scope without me or Melly. For the duration of our lives, put some respect on it, because everything that you got now, you would not have touched anything if it would not have been us being friends to you and your family. I don't like fake people. I just saw Marshall at the town hall, and if I had known that he was talking crazy like this, I would have confronted him then. To me, it don't make sense for Marceau to talk about Melody or myself like that, knowing that we made him. All right, y'all, so that's Martel. He's talking with Chris Fletcher, and he's perturbed. He's perturbed with Marcel Scott, and I'm going to say rightfully so. Yep, it's not often that I agree with Martel, but in this particular case, <laughs> I feel what he's talking about. I mean, he says, put some respect on my name and I don't blame him. Okay. Um, because let us not forget how Skull Industries got started. In the beginning, Melody and Martel helped Letitia and Marcel with this business. They were all owners in that business. And that's why the name is Skull. Um, it's a derivative of Scott's I'm sorry, it's a derivative, yeah, a derivative of Scott and Holt. So, hence the name, right? Um, but it seems to be that Mr. Marceau has totally forgotten about that. Now, I agree when um, Martel says that, you know, he doesn't like fake people. Martel, I don't like fake people either. And in my opinion, the Scots are fake. All of the Scots are fake. The Scots 1.0 would rather see the onion peeled back on everyone else's life while they stand behind something to shelter themselves and to prevent their truths from being told. Unfortunately, though, it ain't happening this season. 
whatever the season is, season 6B or season 7, it ain't happening. What's happening now is a lot of their crap is being told and it's being pulled out on the forefront. It is going to be so interesting to see what happens on that reunion stage. I got a feeling that reunion stage is going to be something else. And you know I'm going to be sitting right up there waiting and taking notes. And I can't wait to get back to get back with y'all so we can talk about it. I might even go live for the first time, y'all. <laughs> anyway, y'all. Yeah, I agree. You know, when he says he doesn't like fake people, in my opinion. I think Martel shows a lot of who he really is. Um, like it or not, you know, he is, he does show more of his true self than any of the rest of them. Now there is a part of him where he wants people to see him in a light that we don't necessarily see him in, where he wants people to feel like he has it like more so together than he really does. Now, um, hey, my prayer is that he is getting it together because he is the father of five children, right? Um, and he has two boys that hopefully look up to him. So I'm hoping that Martel does find himself and that he does find his thing and that he's out there making his money and doing his own thing and really standing on his own feet and not kind of pretending, you know, that he does have it together. Um, but anyway, moving on, um, it just kind of perturbs me that the Scots are so dismissive of the fact that Melody and Martell play such a huge part in them having Skull Industries. So like I said, I totally agree and I can understand where Martell is coming from and his frustration. Um, they're very dismissive. As a matter of fact, it to me seems like the Scots 1.0 forgot where they came from. You know, they forgot that at one time, I don't think they really had a place to live, allegedly, right? So the Holtz even have helped them out with that. They provided them a place to stay. Allegedly, they were staying in the Skulls, um, the, sorry, the Holtz um, townhome, one of the homes that they had. And so um, they stayed there for a while. Not only did they stay in their home, but they also allegedly was driving one of their cars. So how could they forget that? And how could they be so dismissive of these people? Like they show totally no gratitude in my opinion. So yeah, it, the frustration on Martel's part, it's understandable. But here's the other thing. Melody tried to tell Martel that these aren't your true friends. She tried to warn him that, you know, they're, that they're kiki kong kong in your face, but they're laughing behind your back. They're laughing at you. They don't respect you. And so I guess now he's starting to see it, or hopefully he's starting to see what she said and understand where she was coming from, right? Um, because they certainly are very dismissive of the fact that Melody and Martel helped them. Um, it was Melody who actually helped Marceau get his builder's license. She helped him study and prepare so that he could pass the test. And I'm sure, you know, when Martel says that they made the Scots, uh, okay, I, I get what he's saying. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the time when he said he made Melody. And we all know that that ain't true, right? Um, but anyway, when it comes to them making the Scots 1.0, it's my strong opinion that it was more so Melody's mentorship that helped them. Now, I, I do believe that he would have to, you know, they would have to talk as a couple to actually say, hey, let's do this for them, you know, that type of thing. But as far as the mentorship, as far as the nitty gritty of the business, um, the, you know, the nuts and bolts of how things work, my strong opinion is that was Melody, because we all know, based on everything that we've seen on this show, that it was Melody who was doing that over at Holt and Holt. So, of course, she would take her expertise and all of the things she's learned, her best practices, the things that didn't work, and help with this business too. So anyway, y'all, that's all I have for you. We'll see what happens as the show is going to air again tonight, and I will be there. If you haven't done so, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to comment in the comment section, 
hit the notification bell. I will be back. Until then, ciao.